Have y'all ever wondered how to go flex fuel in these older Mustangs? I've always been fascinated by flex fuel technology, and since I have the Mega Squirt, the MS3, the standalone ECU in my car, it actually has the functionality to utilize the flex fuel sensor. So today I'm showing you guys the process of me installing my return fuel system, and then on top of that, being able to install the flex fuel sensor, tuning for it, and officially converting my car to be able to use either 93 or E85. All right, guys, so here is the fuel system. As you can see, here's our return line, some wiring, um, stuff to hold the line up, regulator. Here's the flex fuel sensor. Everything you see here, you can get off of um, Amazon. And uh, I got the harness there, and I have the area. If you guys watched a previous video where uh, my oil pressure gauge wasn't working, I, I, I pinned up some stuff into the ECU, and that was one of them. And so that white wire right there will go straight into that wire I put in the sill panel for the flex fuel sensor, and then the red and black are just key on power, uh, 12 volt, whatever. Here I got my Division X hat that came with the Lethal Performance fuel system. This is the new one, the new style. Um, as you can see, it's hoseless. So very, very nice right there. Um, I did have to wait a while for that. The Division X hat, that's one of the reasons I also bought it. I saw they had these new hats. Unfortunately, I still had to wait for it because um, I guess as they were new, they're still out of stock. And if you guys plan to get this fuel system, I definitely would make sure they have these before you buy them. Over here, we have our two pumps. I forget the size, but all of that will be in the description below. So yeah, guys. I do want to stress one thing to you guys real quick. I'm still learning. I've never installed a fuel system like this before, except for my dad's car, and I kind of just shattered him as he was doing it. So this will be a learning experience for me as well. So just viewer discretion. Um, also with the MS3 Flex Fuel, I'll be learning as we go. So again, double check me if uh, if you guys are planning to do the same thing. And always, don't be afraid to comment and ask questions. I respond pretty fast, and uh, there might be some things that I might learn as I go or in the future after this video is already made. Um, and I'd be happy to help you guys with the information. With that being said, guys, let's, uh, let's actually get into the installation. First things first, we gotta pull the tank. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do. And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all. I just gotta get through. I just gotta get through. I just gotta get through. Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view. The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you. I know the time can heal it all. I just gotta get through. Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true. I wanna put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood but then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can kneel it all if you're patient and soon it can all be worth it all the searching pain is never really permanent but damn it hurts man I could feel all of the turbulence and it's concerning I've been searching for a purpose I hope it's worth it this society is really trying me Ain't no hide and seek, I hide to be far from anxiety I need my space, I need my privacy I need some silence, please, you're all too loud You don't speak quietly, opinions violently Thrown across every surface, it makes me nervous It's the world honestly burning, that's all I'm learning Hope that we can make a turn and start reversing All our minds, we put the work in, we got some work, man Life is a nuisance, tie up's nuisance. I try to be human, find a solution, my evolution. A place like this, it didn't exist, you made it like this. So you can go pick the bad or the good, got a glass halfway. I know it's easier to hide and just to lay low. Not everyone in life has got a halo. I'm standing in the red inside a payphone, just wanna break, no. I'm not gonna give in, take a last shot, Michael J. Wayne No, I'm not a robot, I'm in my own skin Never get lost when thoughts pull you in I miss the old you, we died with the purpose All the energy around me felt nervous Scared I would pop out fast at the surface Had to cut it off before you made me worthless Torn apart, I've been torn apart I had a given art, but now I'm thinking smart I'm keeping up my guard, I'm hiding every card I wore a flush of love, you never know what's hard With a back to the mat, gonna see where I'm at I'ma fight like I'm mad, I'ma be something that They can never be me, nice try, but they'll see I achieve everything while they stay salty I I'm sorry to do, I'm sorry to do. 
I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with a view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through In my veins, I've been driving this train Years in this lane, there's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game and I changed it to play How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes, made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks, feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed All the squad here to play and I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make Alright guys, just want to say really fast, I've just created the official Discord for Certified Rippers. Here you'll get updates on videos, pictures and stuff of what I'm doing and working on with the projects. If you guys are interested in joining this Discord, the link will be in the description. Alright guys, we're back in the future here. Uh, fuel system installed. The way I wanted to mount my flex fuel sensor wasn't going to work. We did some we did some measurements once we were under the car, you know, re-measured everything and then I realized to make that work it was going to be too ratty coming off of the hat on the feed line. So I went ahead and ordered some AN fittings for the sensor, and now I'm gonna put it right here on the regulator on the return line. And uh, hopefully, tonight you'll fill up with the 85 and start tuning. How I like rearranged it to my own domain Yeah, I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots, skipping breaks Feeling lost, feeling great Popping off, singing straight Never stop, never changed All the squad here to play And I've got something to say, yeah I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no, I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flies into flawless traits I build tall, every cap and space I won't stop till I hear him say Oh boy, oh boy. All right, so this is Blake from the next day. Um, and we're out here. As you can see, the wiring for the flexual sensor has that big ass hose around it because I didn't have any smaller wire loom and I wanted the, hose, or the, uh, the, the wires to be protected. So that is all done. Um, I was fighting some electrical gremlins with the uh, flexual sensor right after the camera stopped rolling last night. It started giving us problems. I was gonna go throw E in it right then and there. Never made it that far. But now I've got it all figured out. It was a fuse that was like halfway blown, if that makes any sense at all. So now I get to go ahead and uh, slam the hood and go ahead and throw some corn in it. Now hold on there, buddy. We still got some things to do. So obviously now that we have the flex fuel sensor wired in, uh, it's not just going to automatically work. We got to do some things here in the tuner studio. So of course, like uh, the old saying goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Well, today we're skinning this cat to where we have the most control over the tunability with the flex fuel. So let's get into it. All right, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is come up here and type in flex fuel. We have flex fuel sensor. All right, where it says disabled, we're going to want to enable that. Digital switched in one is the usual sensor port for the flex fuel sensor. Uh, usually all these settings are already gonna be ready to go. I wouldn't mess with any of them. You don't really have to mess with anything in here. Um, you can come here to temperature input and put flex fuel as well if you want fuel temperature. Let's go ahead and hit burn. All right, now you're going to want to search up dual. And then you're going to find dual fuel enable. So you're going to come in here and you're going to come to this enable and you're going to go on. You're going to do mode flex blend and then obviously you're going to leave everything alone. Um, that means you're going to have an alternate fuel table for flex, alternate spark table, AFR table, warm up, after start, cranking pulse, 
and acceleration enrichment. So now that you have all these enabled for flex, now you're going to basically want to copy. All right, so pretty much for the entire list that I just gave um, of things, you're going to want to copy the tables information over. Whenever you turn on the dual fuel enable, um, it gives you kind of like a template or a base. Um, it does not copy or mimic the already existing tables. So you do want to copy this over. If not, you could have problems. So make sure for everything I just listed that there is an alternate table for you copy over. Also, the resolution is different as well. As you can see, my resolution to my VE1 uh, is 215, and over here it's 250. So let's go ahead and fix that really quick and copy it. All right, and with that, we got apply, and then close. And so now that our resolution is set, we can come in here, control A, control C for copy, and then you come over here and you do control A and then control V. So now the entire VE1 is copied over to VE3, which VE3 is for E85. Hit burn, close, close. And now you're gonna wanna do this for your spark tables, your ignition tables. You're gonna wanna do this for your um, cranking pulse, after start enrichment, warm up enrichment. You're also gonna wanna do this for your acceleration enrichment table as well. After you're done with all those things, we can key on and check if the sensor is working. All right, we're back. So I found where the ethanol percentage is. If you guys come down here to more gauges, sensor inputs two, I think, and then you can find it right here, ethanol percent. So I went ahead and got that, showing about 10.1 right now. Yeah, between nine and 11, I think, is usually where 93 is for ethanol percentage. So I think it's time we throw some E85 in the car, see what happens. All right, guys, while I still have you here, I just want to give a quick shout out, big shout out, to a friend of mine, Kenny Sampson, over at Turbo Jixer Tuning. Kenny has been a giant help when it comes to tuning with the Mega Squirt. You know, he's been teaching me a lot. So yeah, big thanks to Kenny. Um, I definitely would not be where I am right now with like tunability with my car and my car running as good as it is and all that without uh, Mr. Sampson. So thanks again, Kenny. Got all my table set up. Go ahead and start the car. Quickly check for leaks. Nothing. Wire and they're good. No leaks. All right. Put some good old corn in there. All right, she took about 40 bucks, 12 gallons. So she definitely was pretty thirsty. Clean start. But as you guys can see, 65.8%. It's running a little rich. We know our tuning is working because if the tuning wasn't working, then this car would basically be leaning out right now, I believe. I think it, it would lean out, this would go like, it would climb up slowly and then it would just die. Um, but currently, usually should be about 70%, but judging how there's still a little bit 93 in there. I'm convinced that corn makes a different sound when it burns.
sounds different. It burns with a different sound. It's hard to it's hard to explain. It almost sounds like my dad's cobra a little bit. 